Hi guys, it's Alston from SAS Pirate. Today I'm bringing you a lifetime deal review video for similar content. I'll explain you what it is and why you need it and how you can use it for full potential in a bit. Uh, but currently this deal is on lifetime deal for just in a $79. The regular pricing for this tool is $49 per month to $79 per month. But it's currently on lifetime deal. So if you want any time through of this video, want to check it out. The link is on the video description and it will give me a small affiliate commission but it won't affect any sales price or the offer discount price it just will uh, help me to create more videos like this okay without get further ado let me go into what is similar content similar content before we anyone who's doing an seo or anyone who knows about seo or even have a website or write articles they know seo is the biggest referral traffic generation source guys most of the time if you go into any website you will be getting more than 75 percentage to the website from seo seo is the biggest traffic source so when it comes to seo we all know that content is the king because based on the content you write for the your website you will be able to rank content used to be something pretty basic from like five to four years ago where you just need to take a content you can spin it through spinners available or you can just even copy paste it and include exact match keywords like we call that as a keyword stuffing included in the content and you would rank good for uh, top positions in search engines but that's not the case anymore guys as the technology develops the ability to understand the content algorithm, the processing all for the search engine also have been improved a lot. So they just not going, if you are just writing an average piece of content, it will not give the result uh, exposure you could have gained if you write written a well optimized content. There are so many updates, even there are something called Google Bird which was released last May, uh, last week where they are using natural language processing to identify what the search query uh, has been asked and the what the content it is sh uh, showing to that is it relevant or not how we can actually identify all these things are getting uh, analyzed guys so uh, it's no longer it's in a, uh, no longer works where you just take a uh, article and put exact match keyword you need to totally understand the topic of it and what are the lsi keywords to include what are the semantic keywords to use what kind of related keywords what kind of structure you should focus on what is the title what is the meta description all these things are important guys if you do all this well for low to medium competition keyword you will be able to rank without even having a backlinks guys and also when you optimize the article all these factors included what essentially will happen is rather than not only ranking for your key main target keyword you also will be ranking for all the long tail keywords related keywords all these things are possible that's why this uh, tool which i am going to review now i think will be really important for you if you are going to plan uh, write any articles blog post review post all the guides in order to get more visitors from search engine so sorry i took too long i wanted to clearly explain you to the importance of it before even going into the tool uh, you can see this is the tool guys it's called similar content uh, what it uh, main purpose is it will help you to find and write seo optimized content for your needs there are so many tools similar to this but do remember those are really expensive and uh, some of these tools i try to le le leave a link in the description they cost third 350 dollars a month there is another tool which cost around 149 dollars a month so all these are super ex expensive guys but they work so when i learned about a lifetime deal on 
this particular tool i was really interested in checking out and i'm glad i got a uh, one um, an account for myself because i'm sure i'm going to be using this on my personal work projects and also for my client works okay without further ado this is the dashboard guys for the similar content you can see dashboard just gives us a brief information on what each of these things and i also like the user interface is not perfect guys but it's actually really easy to work with but it's look bit clunky that's the only negative thing but they give all the information you can see these are the updates which has been released 2nd of uh, november and you can see all these things they are uh, making changes all the improvements are coming and you can see also upcoming also they are planning on so this tool is currently be still being uh, developed so we can uh, we can uh, ensure that it's not just finished tool it's keep on improving to add new functionalities and features okay now the, there are uh, five main categories when uh, functionalities for this tool one is called topic difficulty the second one content optimizer third keyword brainstorming and fourth uh, uh, micro niche finder content rewriter and today's fresh keyword so let me go into by one by one so you can clearly know what each of this function will do and how you can use it for the maximum potential first let's start out with the starting one this is the topic difficulty what this will do is this will analyze uh, this particular keyword let me first type in a keyword so i can explain it to you when it's actually processing let me insert a keyword for example i was searching for something on this line and you include the keyword it will automatically show you some popular suggestions so if you are unsure or you are going want to go even narrow it down you can choose it you can see it shows different different um, keywords if you want to use the root you can use and here you can select the language of the keyword you can see the history recently all these things are available you can change the country specification here it's possible and this is rtl what it means is uh, we call it as right to left languages where some languages are coming from this way for that particular thing if you on this it will automatically change these uh, words into that particular format so let me click on uh, search okay you can see now it's searching what it will do is it will analyze that particular keyword on google and to it will give us ideas on what is the score and what kind of rating it has and all the overview functions you can see based on my keyword it says the competition level for the keyword is moderate and need backlinks to rank what this function would mean it will give you uh, let you know whether it's easy to rank keyword or moderate or highly competitive and it will also let you know whether you need a lot of backlink or few backlink or no backlink at all this is really uh, excellent um, st stat to see because sometimes when we write in blog post for long tail keywords it will tell you uh, you if the competition is easy and you won't need any backlinks to rank then we know just by having a well optimized piece of content we will able to rank on the top positions of that for that particular search query so we can focus on uh, base, we can focus our marketing needs based on the score we get received here you can see this shows what is the percentage of optimization needed in order to uh, get into the top positions you can see minimum score should be 26 and the current uh, uh, topical score of the ranking website goes for 59 uh, 59 percent this is another tool which i like uh, stat i like what it actually shows you it shows each different websites currently ranking and their actual score you can see this is a page from dj website another dj website and best buy and it also shows the score on each of these particular domain uh, domains you can uh, you can also export this uh, chart and this one what it shows is it shows the ads and is any videos is ranking on the first page any questions are shown on the 
page and how many website has been optimized for AMP essentially for mobile specifically so this it shows all the overview data this is where the advanced stats comes to play guys first it automatically try to show us a category most of the time it will take it right currently it has taken it wrong but it will give you a niche specific uh, category level for major keywords like cars uh, dogs cats uh, bigger niche payday loan something like this those kind of things this is where the important thing where you can export all these things in future uh, you can see it will show what to be optimized and what words and what keywords need to be included for different different elements for example in title these are the one letter words uh, which need to be included in order to gain the most uh, visibility you can see this mini word has been included 7.7 percentage drone and or as like it shows all the one word if you want to switch it for two words we can do it from here then it will show the two words combination used on meta title field uh, so, so meta title or the title uh, HTML elements you can select by three words uh, four words so we can identify what are the main keyword or keyword phrases we need to use in our into the title to make sure that our piece of content we are writing is fully optimized on the title tag the second one it's the meta description section here it analyzes the meta descriptions and show you what are the stats for the words used on that particular element same it shows the words and two uh, words all the community what you need to do is guys you need to take the relevant words for example um, all these are relevant when we are writing a mini drone uh, something for mini drone if it's something unrelevant you can skip it otherwise when you are writing a meta description when you are, uh, keep a note of all these uh, popular words and key phrases uh, which are uh, already included on the current ranking and try to include these things in a natural way where it makes sense at the same time it's not keyword stuff you don't want to copy all these and just paste it on the description because that is a bad SEO practice guys so what you need to do is copy each one of it and try to make it in insert into the description in a sensible way that way you will have the your uh, explanation for your article at the same time you also including the content optimized word for other uh, other uh, ranking pages on the SEO search engine currently now okay uh, those are the description it also gives them some certain synonyms uh, if it found any synonyms for our main keyword it will show you that it will also show you the related keywords which will be showing on the search engine at the bottom section it shows those keywords these are really good to find secondary keywords and LSI keyword topic areas this is really good and it also shows the sentiment uh, sections if you can see questions uh, now it's uh, really important we have also a question schema and everything where google uses those so it's ideal where we can include these questions into our article to make the relevancy of the website even more much more interesting for example even in voice searches as nowadays through alexa and all these things what happens is when you ask a particular question this uh, crawlers search based on that question so when you have an actual question exact match where the users are searching for when you optimize it perfectly your content will be shown to them your content will be get, uh, going into those services based on that your performance of the website also can be increased because you are providing actually what others are looking for so questions are shown uh, concepts uh, I have no idea what concept I must ask them uh, entities I, this actually shows you a, a category or you can say breadcrumb uh, what breadcrumb means is how the content is localized in a, in a particular website so you can see 
uh, where mini drones they are mostly located under company Mavic DJ's uh, Rice Tech is a DJ model all these things so we can see how it actually categorized so we it gives us idea on how to structure our content in the website also that is the basic detail but it is really powerful just to get all these details guys okay and you can also see which another feature which i really liked it shows the search analysis you can see export for this also coming soon the google serp analysis guys what it shows you it actually shows you all the current stay uh, ranking pages on the google for this particular keyword you can see it shows the url it shows the actual meta description it also shows the title and you can see another visual reminder where it finds the keyword it automatically bolds them so we know where they have used the main keyword so you can see all these things and they also give this option to copy it uh, fetch the link on open a new uh, tab all these things are possible to do even advanced uh, research on their content they also shows a general score based on all the factors they have searched for that particular keyword um, this is a chart this is focused and these are another important stuff where yeah? it shows whether that particular keyword has been used on the url title and description so we can see if the for example this site they haven't optimized it properly so if you find see if they haven't optimized it properly so if you're going after a low competition keyword just by using the seo con optimized article and as well as optimizing these uh, url title description factor you will have more chances to rank on the top position so it shows the visual reminder for that this fb it just shows the social uh, social popularity on Facebook for each URL let's not need to worry too much about that result and another thing which you can see here is you can see uh, these are what not found a uh, low good extremely good these are the what it say these are the words or keyword phrases used by this uh, particular website for this topic which is really good they are using 45 important phrases or words extremely well on this article 4 on good uh, 8 they are low and you can see they have not include 158 words which could have improved even more visibility for this article so it shows the factors for each uh, of these urls you can see it has taken the top 10 uh, so based on that we can do the research so that is basically guys the first functionality where it says topic or even just the function of this it gives us all this information is purely excellent uh, function uh, feature for any copywriter or content writer okay you can see it something like this will show up on all the screens what it actually shows you is usage if you want to see the usage of currently how much you have been using and what are the quotas you are exceeding it or not you can go here and it will automatically show you all the usage and how much is remaining so anytime you are unsure on whether you have exceeded the limit or not you can check it by here okay now let me go into the, the second one this will be the most important one in this uh, tool where it shows the content optimization something which i really liked was it shows the video it show explains everything on what it is and how you can do it they have written a nice detailed uh, guide with you can see the optimization percentages where they are showing you what how you can measure it how you can understand this tool how you can understand these colors percentages so even a novice or never used any tool like this they can easily understand it more so i really like they provided easy to understand with pictures all this information here okay now let's take a look into actual example you can see uh, let me just change it to another uh, topic keyword web design service let's go for that and you can see same way you can search we can turn off here we can select a different uh, 
country here let me select my country here and you can see uh, I need to give an input here is the place where you once you return or you have written a part of the article you can paste it here to measure the uh, statistic of how well it has been optimized for SEO or what you can do is you can click on the fetch link and you can link give the link uh, if you have already written on a blog post or an article and you are looking to improve it click here and click on fetch now what it will do is it will automatically go to that page and it will get all the content which is available there into this page so you can easily measure it correctly from here uh, to optimize so let me uh, try to click on analysis you can see now it has been started to analyzing the content on the website it will take a time I think because currently the page content is around 4000 words or something for this page so it will take a bit of time uh, let's wait for it you can also see when it's analyzing it also not only analyzing my particular page it also taking the competitors of my particular page for this particular keyword and it's all uh, analyzing everything from them with me and comparing all these things to find the best uh, words and keyword phrases need to be included you can see currently I have a relevancy score of 51 but the target score should be ideally 72 and minimum uh, it shows 43 percentage so I have more than the minimum but ideally I should even re-optimize this page to make sure that I get closer to 72 or more than that and it also shows you can see we always recommend that your article should be from 55 to 75 and it shows uh, the status of my current content whether it shows currently it's need more optimization so it already gives us all this summary information I don't need to look anything below this just from basic above I can get the idea on what it's actually happening what's it's been showing all these things are available here and another thing this it shows the language and it will automatically count the number of words I have pasted it and how many letters phrases sentence all these uh, bit, lit, bits of piece of information is shown here this is where the important phase guys where now it shows the score here but it actually shows the data for how it got this score and what you need to do in order to improve it currently it is on one word these are uh, one word let uh, words where you should include it if it makes sense into your article to make sure that your content is more optimized for that particular topic you can see what it actually showing you is uh, not found means I have not included that particular word which other sites are mentioning into my content so 86 words I have not included it low uh, I have included that particular keyword but sorry I have not included uh, I have included that keyword but the number of time the word has been included is not uh, according to the ratio it can need to be either include more or I included less good those are the optimal where I have done it optimal extremely good these are really best you don't need any further optimization for these particular words so you can see it shows everything it shows the number of count and you can see it's listing all these things are available here you can see it shows the word design uh, in article I have used uh, 71 time but actually uh, I need to be using 81 times compared to others so need to include that particular word bit more in order to gain topical relevancy for that particular word you can also see the percentage and my score for that particular keyword because it's really low for web design service design is an important one so I need to focus on inserting more and you can also see web 
I have used only 24 times, the do time is for 62, I need to optimize. So all these things are shown and you can see something which I have done correctly, it shows in green. Where I have used the term business 12 times and 14, so it's actually good. It's not extremely good, but it's good. If you are just want to focus on this particular criteria factor, if you click on extremely, it will show all the sites which is uh, words which are optimized for very best, no need for any other optimization. Good, it will show only the good. It, for low, it will show the low. On not found, these are the words which I haven't used a single time, which I should probably use in order to increase my relevancy. I have not included a word called online. So that though, that is a good keyword for web design. So I should use that keyword inside this article business offers friendly so it shows all these things available here so it's re it not only just takes the data from our own website it takes the data from all the website which currently ranking on the google guys so these are the words which are if if the google is ranking other competitors page on the top position what that means is it values their backlink and also it values their content which they are in their page so we can't do anything about backlink through this tool but we can optimize the content so if google is ranking those particular pages on the top position they like the content what they are seeing so when we also want to improve our seo for the current page and outrank these pay competitor pages what we need to do is we need to find all the words which is shown here which we are not included and we need to include it in our word site so where when google rescans a website it will find all these topical relevancy it will help you to increase your ranking that is the one word similar same stuff is available for multi word but here without using the one word scheme it using the multi words Questions it also shows the questions and what needs to be optimized all these things are available That is basically the content optimizer module guys um, The third tab is called keyword brainstorming What this is uh, if you want to uh, Let me first put a keyword so I can explain it to you while it's loading uh, Let me click on search why it will help you to brainstorm the keyword it will help you to understand more about that particular keywords and everything uh, let us wait you can see it shows the percentage is currently fetching uh, similar keywords also different keywords i have i included web design you can see it's searching for other keywords like web design trends 2019 and web design courses so it actually going through that keyword and finding related keywords and everything uh, the first one was for topic difficulty to understand the topic this is just to brainstorm that particular keyword to find more relevant uh, related keywords for that wait for uh, let us wait for it okay you can see it has been done it shows similar uh, and top uh, one keywords if you click here it shows these are related keywords which you should you can focus uh, on writing another separate articles to power up this article or even include it within this article as a sections to gain more related uh, keyword rankings you can see web, de web design tools template it has been generated automatically got all these things it also shows the frequency you can export it in any format you want and that is one word top one word here it shows the multiple words so basic if you are looking for some brainstorming of your keyword to identify other related keywords or what is other popular ones you can do it by ear if you are inserting uh, different keywords most probably since i chosen sri lanka as the target country you might find the low results because the search volume here is low but actually for a web design in usa you would find a lot more combinations and a lot more searches guys so that is keyword brainstorming 
this is micro niche finder this is something to help you to find a focus niche for example uh, you want to get into a um, blog where you write about let's say for example website but it's a generally focused niche so you want to drill down into a specific niche then you need to enter the main keyword here it will try to bring you another sub niches for it for example let me go here and let me give an example let's see whether this works laptop let me change back to United States okay that seems fine English let's pay for you can see I inserted a word laptop it shows all the possibilities for where I can niche it down for example laptop docking system laptop batteries laptop injures laptop replacement parties laptop uh, screen replacement. you can use this uh, in couple of ways uh, I would recommend one you could uh, when you are creating a let's say for example a review site or block on laptops you can actually use these two structure or categorize your content in a user friendly way so it will actually be helpful for the user to um, go through your site find what they are looking for or you can use this for example if you are writing a review article on what is the best laptops uh, 2019 it will be really tough guys because all the big guys in the market is ranking for that but if you want to drill down and find a specific smaller niche like let's say for example um, this one uh, lap, uh, laptop housing and trim uh, or laptop injures laptop batteries laptop docking station reviews there it will be very much less competition compared to the bigger one but you will be actually targeting the user who are using laptops so you can either go for structure or you can use it to find more specific micro niches anytime if you're interested on something if you click on it what it will do is it will try to find related uh, questions uh, i clicked on it double time so it will try to find relevant questions you can see i have a I want to promote laptop docking station so I can write content on any of these topics you can see what is the best docking station for laptop really good keyword if you so write for it uh, do I need a docking station for my laptop all these possibilities are showing here guys let's say for example if I want to decide to write an article for what is the best uh, docking station for the laptop if I click here it will automatically pop that keyword into the uh, keyword researcher module and you can see it shows uh, wait it's still showing the mini drone it will automatically pop it and it will start running for some reason I think probably because of that error shown it didn't take the keyword uh, you can see it now analyzed the, that particular keyword and automatically analyze those competition let uh, wait for this so I can show you the result okay you can see I just dropped a say uh, some keyword laptop and you can see within one minute I was able to find an uh, easy keyword to rank without even backlink so you can see how powerful this tool can be for your particular niche uh, site where you can easily able to find relevant uh, keywords within a matter of time guys so you can see easy to rank without backlinks you can see all the data here the, here the category is correct where it shows technology and computing hardware computer portable computer laptop so it gives really good uh, hierarchy same thing so you can go through this it's easy to find keyword that's why i wanted to show you that you can find easy to rank keywords through this tool easily and the next one which you can focus on content retarded this is something worked really well on let's say for like two to three years ago where or you don't need to write anything you just find some piece of content paste it and spin it through your favorite uh, spinner tools and you can actually rank for that nowadays it has been improved a lot so i wouldn't recommend using this particular function to just 
rewriting something and pasting it but i would recommend you can use it on is if you are unable to rewrite something and you are looking for some suggestion on how you can actually rewrite it or to get a different perspective of that particular paragraph to improve it you can use it what you can do is let's say let me copy a just a piece of text uh, you can have to paste it here then you need to select the language and you can see and um, you can protect some keywords what happens is if you have a certain keyword where you don't want to spin it or you don't want any alternatives for that keyword you want the actual keyword to be appear for example if you are trying to rank for web design service i want to keep the web design service as it is i don't want to change it like that if you have some words you can come here and you can put here something like b2b and what will happen is it won't spin these words you can include more keywords uh, like here by using a comma once you have done that if you click on rewrite what it will do is it will try to find an alternative way to uh, write the same sentence you can see more uh, sometimes it will not write all the sentences only the one which it actually makes sense for example here it says buy and sell, uh, sell goods and services via internet support any e-commerce models like b2b b2c e-shops and integrate integrate local and international payment game it automatically changes a bit here the buy and sell goods and services via internet supply any e-commerce models such as p2b and b2c is to integrate local and international payment gateway so if you include different different section you can able to see whether it actually works for you it will really work well when you try to insert a paragraph or couple of paragraphs you don't need to insert the whole article you just include some paragraph try to rewrite it to get a different idea if you want to copy it always you can copy it by clicking on this link and finally uh, today's fresh this is suitable for, it's not suitable for everyone who it actually suitable for it if you have a content writer of a blog where you just focus on what's popular today and you want to write something uh, content for it or let's say for example you on a particular niche and you just wondering whether you can make any content based on popular what is popular go happening in that particular day and you can make a content based on that there yeah, you can try to find what's currently popular today for example all you need to do is select a country let us select us and click on load it will show you some content ideas you can see currently today these are the popular stuff happening on us which people are searching about so if you are looking for a if you are running a sports blog you can always go into these things and you can make a post on these uh, uh, this uh, Popeye chicken it's also popular currently so if you are running a food blog or something you can say they have reopened it uh, from Sunday all these things all can be done so based on any country it will show different for example USA it showed these things let's still delete if you select UK it will totally show two different uh, 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 search queries which is popular so those are the basic stuff guys I really wanted to go through everything in depth guys so you can understand the tool rather than just showing you this is the something this is something you can do it i really wanted to explain each one of these to show the real potential and how you can use it that's why this video has been long sorry guys but i hope this was useful and apart from that it shows notification here basic history support settings chat help is contactable from here and here and also they have a question uh, contact support here and if you have any reporting or feedback you always go here and report it okay i think i have covered everything there if you have any doubts or any question feel free to ask me on the video below and i will personally reply to you and currently this tool is on lifetime deal for 79 dollars i don't think they will be offering anything like this again if you miss this deal so if you are someone who writes content or looking to optimize i would encourage you to check it out if you are decided in interested in purchasing it please um, 
try to use the affiliate link below shown in this video so it will give me a small affiliate commission to create more in-depth videos like this uh, for you in future and once again thank you so much and i hope uh, this was useful have a great day bye